Why hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ginger Senpai, and right now I'm recording for the GamingNet365 channel, and if you'd like to check out my channel, I will maybe put a link in the description or something, I don't know. Um, and breaking news, I just got a new guitar, and I'm pretty stoked about it, it's a 7 string, uh, it's 25 frets, I don't know too many specific deets on it, but uh, I, I am really happy it sounds beautiful. Uh, it's an extra low B string, uh, but also uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Dead or Alive 5 uh, it, for the demo. Uh, you guys should definitely check it out if you enjoy fighting games or if you'd like some form of a transition into the fighting game world. I would definitely suggest it because it is extremely fun, and if you have the money, feel free to buy it. It is... Uh, it is quite the fun game, so... But anyways, back... Well, I, I guess I can't say back. Uh, starting with the topic uh, at hand, uh, I really wanted to talk about parents, and I know I've been delaying this a little bit because I've had other subjects to talk about, but uh, I think it's finally time. So... The reason why I wanted to go about this is because my friend is in quite the precarious situation, and... I feel like I, I need to talk about it, and I know he's going to watch this video too, so uh, this one's for you. You're going to be unnamed and just kind of all around anonymous, but if if you're a friend of me and my friend, you probably know who I'm talking about if we've told you the situation, but anyways, let's get into it. My friend uh, is having a falling out with his, his family, uh, in a sense. And the reason why this all started is because uh, it was actually really stupid. I, I can't remember how it all started, but I remember something stupid. And his mom's like, why are you always trying to pick a fight? And it escalated with his sister trying to talk over him to, to stop. And uh, him, him talking back in just a raised voice manner. And his, his family uh, misconstrued it as him screaming at, uh, at his sister. And then his brother ends up smacking him on the head, and uh, uh, it just went downhill from there. So uh, I've been racking my brain over thinking about like uh, what ways he can go about fixing said problem, if he even wants to fix the problem in general. Uh, part of him, I already know, wants to just get out of there and just kind of move out, but he's kind of at a catch-22 right now, and uh, in his life where his mom is going to, to kick him out when he is uh, graduated high school and he doesn't have any form of income right now because he is unable to leave the house because of his parents which I think is bull. He's 18, he should be able to do what he pleases uh, as long as he uh, abides within certain like regulations of the household and doesn't go overboard with anything but which in a sense it kind of has and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna full out defend my friend here because uh, what, out of what he showed me uh, he did say something that was kind of over the line I will not lie and uh, since he's watching this I'm sure he knows what I'm talking about and uh, I'm not gonna lie dude that was kind of un uncalled for but, I mean, what's said is said, and he really just wants to just to not talk about it and seclude himself from his, uh, his family, even more so than he already does, which is, which definitely won't remedy the situation. It's, it's got to be an awkward environment in his house for him because he's constantly getting yelled at because his mom is just at the utmost level of pissed off, and I, I feel the greatest amount of... Uh, empathy towards the dude and just re respect for f respect for his being because out of what he's going through uh, he and he's he's on his his outermost shell of his being he is stable and fine but I'm sure in the in the core of who he is he is uh, I wouldn't say breaking down but somewhere uh, something that would be similar to that word but 
I, I really don't know how he can go about the current situation he's in because what uh, what he wants to do right now is just up and leave, just take his stuff and go. And I can definitely I can definitely feel what like what he wants that and that uh, I, I don't know, but he wants to end up staying with a friend. Um, if I can convince my parents, uh, I would love to be that friend that he'd stay with. But my parents are are not too are probably not too keen on the uh, will not be too keen on the idea, and that's uh that's what's uh, going over my brain like a way to tell my parents that like hey this is uh, this is a thing can can you help help a friend out he wants to get a job and uh, so he can support himself he just needs a place to stay. And I would also like to get a job too because my my grades aren't too bad and uh, there's no real risk in my grades going lower because I have a job because I would probably work uh, later in the day and just uh, help pay for him as well as uh, as myself because I also feel it's time for me to start contributing in the family the family the family and uh, start kind of paying my way. Uh, even if it's just a little bit. Um, and also on the note of family, I feel that uh, there's less uh, engagement between family members. Like, uh, one family member won't go out of his way to, to ask how another's doing or just talk to talk to their siblings or, or son or daughter or whatever. And... I think that's that's really sad because the idea of a child being so secluded is it's rather effed up because a child thrives off their their parents' acknowledgement for for doing good or bad or just telling them what to do in general, giving them some form of guidance and that is really what a parent's there to do is to be a guide in life uh, until a certain point where they're eligible enough to make their own decisions and all around just be their own person but uh, it has been it has come to a point where I guess the the child has become more secluded I'm also speaking for myself as well as my friend um, I'm uh, I, I can't say I didn't see this coming eventually because I am 17 now and my friend is 18 and I think it, it'd just be a good thing if people just in the family just uh, went out of their way to make an interest in other family members' uh, interests. And even if it's like, hey, Dad, do you want to teach me how to hook up a V8 engine to a... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, or just help your, help your family out, and uh, hopefully they would have the have the decency to do the same and reciprocate said action and just get to know your child man because uh, if if you don't like you you're going to feel that much that much more separated when let's say oh yeah uh i uh like you won't know anything about your family like for instance let's just say i randomly started picking up guitar and my my family didn't know about it and I just showed up one day, picked up a guitar, just started messing around, and then my mom would be like, oh, uh, it would be something like, oh, I didn't know you played guitar. And yeah, I have for a little while now. Oh, I didn't know. And uh, that might be a bad example, but I don't know. So this is coming up to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah, washing. Thank you so much for bathing. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will see you guys later. Have a nice day. Remember like, rate, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And just have a nice day.